it. Make sure to back up everything before you do this process because yes, everything on your phone will be wiped. First of all, go into settings, go into about phone, tap on build number seven times unless until you see something like uh, you are now a developer. Then go back, go into developer options, enable OEM unlocking, enable advanced reboot and enable USB debugging. Once you do that, hold the power button, select reboot, select bootloader and click on the bootloader logo once again so that the device will boot into the bootloader mode or also known as fast boot mode. Now connect the USB cable to the device and the rest of the work is on PC. So as you can see there are some files which I have downloaded. All of these files which we are going to use in this video will be linked in the description box below so do not worry about that. Extract the ADB folder and copy the recovery zip file, super SU zip file and the magisk zip file in that ADB folder. Follow the same steps as I'm doing on the screen right now. Now open up the ADB folder, click anywhere in the empty space in that particular folder. Now hold shift button on your keyboard and press right click at the same time on the mouse. You will see something as open command window over here, but I'm seeing something like open windows PowerShell, which is quite okay. And that's because of the new windows 10 update. And it doesn't matter if you get option of windows PowerShell or command prompt because both of them are going to work the same and you just have to do exact same step in both these things. I'll show you the first part with command prompt and then we'll use the windows PowerShell too. So this is the command prompt window over here as we have connected our device in fast boot mode. Let's type fast boot devices. And as you can see, our device is listed over here. Then write a command which is known as fastboot OEM unlock to unlock the bootloader on the OnePlus 5. Just hit enter and it will be completed within a second. Now look at your device, press the volume up or down button to select yes or to highlight the yes option. And once you are on the yes option, press the power button. It will wipe the data on the device and the bootloader of your device will be unlocked. And obviously the device is going to reboot into the system, but do not set up anything because we still need to do a lot of things. So switch off your device once you boot into the system, hold the volume up button and power button together to boot into the fast boot mode, or you can just go through the setup without setting up the device, then go into develop options and enable advanced reboot and then boot into fast boot method by following that method, which I showed you earlier too, or you can switch off your device and hold volume up button and power button to boot into the fast boot mode. The only requirement here is that you need to boot into the fast boot mode once again. Once you do that, connect the USB cable or if it is already connected, then well and good. Now I'm going to show you rest of the commands on the Windows PowerShell, but if you have Windows command prompt on your PC, then it is going to work the exact same way. Like you have to write the exact same commands. Do not worry if it's Windows PowerShell or command prompt, just follow the exact same step. As we have connected our device once again, let's type the same command which is fastboot devices and it shows our device over here. Now we need to flash the TWRP recovery file and for that the command is fastboot flash recovery space recovery's name and I'm going to copy TWRP recovery's name over here and after that name write dot IMG. So basically our command is fastboot flash recovery space recovery name dot IMG. That's it. Hit enter, TWRP recovery will be flashed on your device. Now we need to boot into the recovery mode. So press volume up or down buttons on your phone. You will see recovery mode over here. Once you see that, hit the power button so that the device will boot into the TWRP recovery. Now we have booted into the TWRP recovery, but it is asking for some password. And this is the exact same password which you use for your lock screen. Select never show this again and select swipe to allow modifications. Now we are into the TWRP recovery. And here is an interesting thing that you can do, which I am not going to do basically. Go into wipe and select format data over here. If you do not want your device to stay encrypted, then just format data and it will be good to go. I personally prefer to format data, but this is my friend's device who wants to keep the device encrypted. So because of which I'm not going to do that. Once you format data or not format data, it's totally fine if you do not do it. Now copy the magic zip file from your PC to the internal storage of the OnePlus 5. Once you do that, go back, go into install, scroll down, select the magic zip file and select swipe to confirm flash and the magic zip file will be flashed. And why am I using magic zip file instead of super SV zip file? That's because you can use banking application, Pokemon Go application, even after using the root access with magic application. Whereas if you flash super SV zip file on the device, then you won't be able to use 
Pokemon Go, you won't be able to use some banking applications. So if you want to use those applications while having root, then use Magic's zip file. If you flash the Super SV zip file, that's completely fine too. No issues whatsoever. Once the zip file is flashed, select reboot system and the device will boot into the system perfectly fine. Now the device will boot into the system and this time you can set up your device because the routing procedure is completed. You do not have to worry about anything now. Now I am going to install the Magisk Manager APK file which will be linked in the description box below. It will show that Magisk version 12 is installed and properly rooted. And if I click on the safety net check, it was not passed but root access is surely present. And in order to bypass the safety net check, go into the options and go into settings. Select Magisk core only mode and select the Magisk hide option over here. And you will have to reboot your device. So reboot your device and once the device is done rebooting because I am going to fast forward this part. Go into Magisk application once again and check for safety net and it will be passed. Now I just want to show you guys that yes, the root access is present. For that I'm going to open up the root checker application, click on verify root over here and it will say congratulations root access is properly installed on the device. Device is OnePlus 5 Android version 7.1.1. So yes, we have successfully unlocked bootloader on the OnePlus 5. 